welcome to episode six of K2 Off-Road, formerly K2 Fab Garage. Yes, I changed the name. Um, I think K2 Off-Road fits this channel a little bit better, even though I know there's no one name that's going to like fully encapsulate all the things I do on this channel, but it's K2 Off-Road now, it's here to stay, and I won't change it again, I promise. But for today's video, I'm going to introduce you to my side business, which is called K2 Fabrication. I do a variety of projects through this side business, and I'll introduce you more to it later in this video. But for now, I'm going to get started with the two projects that I have for today. The first one being a small snowmobile exhaust repair job, and the second one being building a rocket stove, which will be the majority of this video. The rocket stove will be the newest product launching on my website. So. Those two projects are what I have for today. Let's get started. exhaust all welded up and now I'm going to start sawing material for those two rocket stoves. the body of these rocket stoves mostly cut. I just need to trim off this bottom piece and I wanted to see it laid out before I decided exactly where I wanted to put that cut. Uh, so I laid these out. I magneted these top great pieces up here for now just to get a good reference of scale and proportion. So I picked where I wanted to cut this. That's the last cut I have to make before everything's done. Um, I originally had this inlet at just a straight 45, not this compound miter here. But I figure when you feed the kindling in, it's all going to kind of go up in this area and your fire is going to be more down in this area. So I decided to put this compound miter on here. So this tube sits down here and your kindling feeds more into this zone where your fire is going to be. I don't know how much it's really going to help, but I think it's better. So I changed that. I really didn't have that much of a plan when I started, just a rough overall dimension. So I'm pretty happy with where it is now. I'm going to trim this off on both of these and then I'll have all the body pieces cut and I'll move on to cutting pieces for the base. Just going to be a little riser base so that this isn't sitting on the ground. So pretty happy with how that came out. On to some more cuts.
Okay, so I got all the base pieces cut. I'm gonna deburr these, deburr all these parts, tack these up, and then mark where I need to cut the slot in the body parts. And now I have these all deburred and have this mocked back up again. And I need to cut right here so that when this material feeds, it can feed all the way through. So I marked that on these two tubes to cut this out and cut that out. So that will be next. So as you can now see, I decided last minute to make this top section removable. Uh, so you could use it like as an open campfire and cook over it or just for heat. And then I thought I'll make some different tops for this. Maybe a one with like a grate where you could just set, I don't know, foil wrapped potatoes like right on it whereas they'd like fall through on this one. So I decided last minute to make that change. Pretty happy with it. So now I'm going to... Uh, I have to make some little tabs that'll center this on here so that it can slide over and just set over the body. And now I'm going to get the base tacked onto the stove. <laughs> these four little tabs cut that are going to get welded on all four sides of the top piece so that it can slip over the top of the body and weld those on and then start welding the entire body up.
done welding the rocket stove and I ground and cleaned everything up. So here it is. I'll show you. All right, here it is. I'm really stoked with how it turned out. The only thing I still have left to do is weld a handle right here. It's like a cool touch coil barbecue handle. I think it'll work good for carrying it around. Other than that, it's complete. Um, like I said, really stoked with how it turned out. As you may have noticed in the video, I chose to TIG weld these top parts here and here, just cause I think it made this top piece look really nice with these little thin tabs. Um, and then I also chose to TIG weld these miters down here, just cause this material is a little thinner and I wanted to make it look nice. Everything else just MIG welded together for efficiency. My brand new Harbor Freight Titanium laid down some sick welds. Absolutely love that thing. Uh, this project also turned into a little more of a design build than I had ever intended. Uh, like I said, this was never going to be a compound miter. Really happy I made that change. And this top piece was never going to be removable, but I'm also glad I made that change. And then I made a few dimensional changes from my original plan, which I'm stoked with, and then angling out these bottom pieces just to make it, I don't know, I think it gives it a better look and it's definitely more stable than had been um, a straight 90 there. So happy with that. Take a peek inside. This turned out really slick where I made those cuts. Everything lined up really well. Really happy with it. So once that handle comes in, I'll get that welded on get this painted up and listed on my website. And speaking of website, here comes my little plug on my side business, K2 Fabrication. So K2 Fabrication is the space where I handle a variety of projects ranging all the way from custom turbo hot sides to repairing cast aluminum patio chairs. Um, pretty much whatever people are willing to offer my way, I'm willing to give it a shot and learn from and continue to grow my business from. Um, I started K2 Fabrication in 2018. It started off with me just making things from horseshoes because it was something that I had all the equipment to do, so a market that was easy to tap into, and it was like quick turn projects that could just get the cash flowing for the business to start up. So if you go on my website, you'll see a lot of horseshoe stuff. Um, eventually that will be going away as I transition more into the type of work that I'd like to be doing. Um, which would be more automotive, off-road, custom, uh, more technical, detailed type stuff. So I do a variety of projects for people, custom projects, and then like the rocket stove, I just make my own products and list them for sale on my website as well. So that's where K2 Fabrication has been and is headed. I'm going to put the links to my website and my Facebook and Instagram in the description below. If you're so inclined to go check those out, I would greatly appreciate it. So that's my little spiel on K2 Fabrication. It's kind of my thing that I try to grow as much as I can in the background. It's really hard being on the road with monster trucks because obviously I can't take my shop with me. But eventually it'll get there. Um, it's kind of on the ground floor right now of really turning into what I want it to be. So I'm excited for where it's headed. And if you choose to go follow my socials, you'll see all the things, the things that I have in the works right now. Um, and there's even more that I haven't posted about or put coming soon on my website. That'll be coming soon. So there's that. That's all for this video. Um, my next one is going to be back to monster trucks again because tomorrow... We head to Louisiana to kick off first quarter for Monster Trucks, so I'll take some, vid um, some footage there and on the way kind of show you guys what we do at a show and hopefully get some in-cab footage for you guys as well. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching and tune in for some sweet Monster Truck footage coming soon.